hello everyone welcome to my channel and today again i am starting from there uh, since where i have ended my session in previous videos so in this video i am just going through some more questions like in this question we have a power bi data set that contain or table name temperature readings and temperature readings contain the column shown in the following table so this is a kind of format and this table has around 12 million rows all the columns are needed for analysis so you need to optimize the data set to decrease the model size and the solution must not affect the precision of the data what should you do so you need to disable the power query load why i am saying this because when you are disabling this this is going to what's happening that in power query queries that are intended support data integration okay um, with other queries so it shouldn't be loaded to the model so to avoid loading query to the model take care to ensure that you disable query load in these steps for more details you can go to the power bi guidance that is already mentioned in docs uh, learn.microsoft.com and here you can learn how we can disable power query load in this how we can enable the load and ha how we can disable the auto date and time it is mentioned in this page it is very good tutorial you must go there because when we need to enable it creates a hidden auto date timetable for date column to support report orders when configuring filters grouping and drill down okay and then you can switch to mixed mode also in our next question this is around 55 uh, chapter of this tutorial in this uh, I am going through another question. This question is a part of series that have uh, some scenario and in this scenario we have a cluster bar chart that contain a major name salary as the value and a field name employee as the axis. So the salary is present in data as numerical amount representing US dollars. Now you need to create a percentile line by using salary mission and set the percentile to 50 percent. Does this meet the goal? Yes, it will meet the goal because 50th percentile also known as the median or middle value where 50 percent of the observation fall value. So for this you need to go to the this link dash underscore intel dot com and from there you can find out how percentile php is working on let's move to the next question in this question we have a chart okay this is a report and now let's move what uh, what uh, this reports needs to work in the first it is the sales USD by store location and this one is the Q1 2016 top 10 and quarterly sales so here are the answer like selecting a quarter on the line chart will not affect the cluster column chart and selecting a data point on the toys line on the line cross filter so not affect the column chart has no impact icon highlighted the selecting data points on the line graph will have no effect and the cross filter is the icon highlighted the selecting data points on the line graph will be cross filter into the map and for this you need to go to the topic this is also very important topic okay in our next question t space uh, contains slicers for the same four fields and user report that when they select values in a slicer on one page the selection are not persisting on another page so for this you need to um, replace the slicer with report level filters and the second sync the slicer across the page this this topic is very important for slicer and sync slicer and you need to add a report level filter and then from here view you can select the sync slicer and in sync slicer it is a kind of visualization so uh, for this you need to go through this add filter okay this add filter um, now we can add a filter to a report okay and here like these are these are the very important question where you have to store sales overview and other 
topics you can go through how we can filter highlighted how different kind of filters we can apply and uh, here is the visual level page level and report level also so these uh, yeah so in power bi we have a report icon then open the visualization and there you can uh, select filter and filled pane okay and by going through how you you need to store type and how you can use the cat category type it is also you can select from here also for uh, kids it's a kind of a scatter field but the other visual stays the same to add, to add a filter to an entire page you can select on the home then report and then add filter and then you can select district manager okay for and to add a report level filter to filter an entire report then again you can select filter and report level filters so it is dependence how you are going to apply the filter then you can reset to default and if you need some uh, troubleshooting then you can go to the page editing view so these are the few topics like first uh, in the session we we are we have discussion about data reduction visible power query load then there is the percentile functions how we can use a uh, modeling power bi modeling with using a percentile functions and there are two main percentile function in power bi is one dot c e x c and the second one is i n c okay and these are the examples how we can apply this percentile and how we can use analytic feature okay how we can add percentile to daily revenue closer look at percentile formula and uh, in this session we discuss about change how visual interact in power uh, bi report and how we can add filter i hope this video um, helps you a lot to learn power bi in my next section i will come again with some other topic so till then bye bye and keep learning please subscribe and like my videos so that i can have encouragement to create these videos thank you so much